Eruwakwe notice, Nigeria has lost three critical opportunities for renegotiation, Akonkwo. Rights activist and convener of Movers for the Voice of Democracy, Movers, Ifni Chukwu Akonkwo has called on every Igbo person working in every federal parastatal to retain his tool of office. Akonkwo said it is time for them to redefine Nigeria. The rights activist also called on Nigerians to recognize that Dr. Nnamdi Azikai messed up the first opportunity that Igbos had. Rights activist and convener of Movers for the Voice of Democracy, Movers, Ifni Chukwu Akonkwo said Nigeria has lost three critical opportunities for renegotiating in the country. Akonkwo made this known during an interview with The Guardian. Rights activist, the first time was in the surrender document by Major General Philip Hefian and CEO, a very prominent Igbo, Sir Louis Mbainfo, disagreed with the draft and tone of that document that they should not hand over a blanket surrender. Eruwakwe notice, Nigeria has lost three critical opportunities for renegotiation, Akonkwo. Late Sir Mbainfoot disagreed with the groups that drafted the Article of Surrender, saying that it should be an opportunity to guarantee regional government. That was why he was not part of the delegation that went to surrender. Akonkwo said Nigerian once had an opportunity when former President Aliska Nobison Joe set up Consultative Assembly, California and informed Nigerians that the country was changing to a presidential system of government. Naj. Com gathered that he also said that no Igbo man in California interrogated the military on why the country was moving away from the regional constitution that Nigeria had as a federal state. The rights activist said, Another opportunity was during the consummation of the accord between National Party of Nigeria, NPN, and Nigeria People's Party, NPP. No Igbo man had formed a party in Nigeria except Chief Chekwa Zikari. In that particular amalgam of NPN, NPP, Igbo lost an opportunity to renegotiate Nigeria, because, while Chief Alex Ikwim was the vice president in the executive, Edwin Amezok was the Speaker of House of Representatives. More so, another Southerner, who fought the war, Joseph Wise, was President of the Senate. Our people were interested in offices and we lost a great opportunity to renegotiate Nigeria. Akonkwo however called on professional groups and the business class of Igbo extraction to extend the quit notice to the rest of northern Nigeria. He further said every Igbo person working in every federal parastatal should retain his tool of office, return to their region to let us renegotiate Nigeria. International community will assist us, we should not lose this God-given opportunity. I am calling on Igbo, this is the time for us to redefine Nigeria. I am also calling on Nigerians to recognize that Dr. Ndamdi Ezekai messed up the first opportunity noticed by Chief Obeyfemi Awelawo before independence, by asking us to wait for the North. Com earlier reported that Nisimizimbo Waike, the river's state governor, had declared that nobody has the right to issue quit notices to other Nigerians. The governor stressed that despite recent social challenges, Nigeria will continue to be united.